how to utilize opportunities in life many times we get opportunities but we do not utilize them or we do not utilize them to the extent we should or we should have or we can has it ever happened with you that you got an opportunity in some area of your life but yet because of your uncontrolled mind and senses you ended up losing that opportunity has it ever happened well it has happened with me many times <laughs> i don't know about you maybe it has all right so uh, in fact recently i was uh, hearing uh, a lecture from my shiksha guru he was telling that uh, in the kurukshetra war the war the battlefield of mahabharata you now for the westerners uh, kurukshetra is a place where there was a famous war which is mentioned in the mahabharat which is one of the biggest epics uh, from the vedic tradition you must have heard about it where uh, the bhagavad gita was spoken by lord krishna to arjuna so so he was telling that the biggest uh, one of the most crucial lessons from the battlefield of kurukshetra is that you don't have to have a position to make an impact in the society yes because if you look at the uh, numbers we know the kurus the kauravas they had 11 akshohinis <laughs> uh, kauravas c for kauravas no k okay. c for crooks <laughs> except a few uh, like uh, bhishma and drona and kripa all of them are crooks in the kauravas thugs of the highest order criminals liars cheaters murderers rapists yes abusers molesters all of these fill all the corvas mm -hmm. the entire army is filled with this and the pandavas didn't have that many number they had only seven akshohinis and what was the total total was 18 akshohinis okay so <clears throat> the thing is among the pandavas who was the who were the two who inflicted the maximum amount of uh, casualties to the kauravas maximum damage who were they of course one is arjun the other one is bhima so you have to understand that arjun and bhim they neither of them were uh, like yudhishthir had a position he was the king he was the leader from the side of the pandavas but uh, drishtadyumna the brother of draupadi was uh, and the son of uh, drupad he was actually the commander in chief the senapati pradhan senapati as they say of the side of the pandavas but we do not see that he had uh, he had killed some very prominent maharathi now of course he is a great warrior he is a he is a fantastic warrior he is a very powerful warrior but we see that he has not inflicted maximum damage on the other hand arjun and bhim they didn't have any position they didn't they didn't have any stamp or symbol yes you are the commander yet they inflicted the maximum amount of damage so therefore this is something which you have to understand this is what i heard in the like so that if you cannot capitalize opportunities you know if you cannot capitalize small opportunities you cannot capitalize bigger opportunities like for example if you are irresponsible with money which means you lose money so suppose you see a 10 rupee note lying here not anybody is yours and you were like okay after all it's just 10 rupees you know it's not a big deal so you don't put it in a wallet and it just stays and it it disappears right as it happened so if you lose 10 rupees you will also lose 100 rupees and if you lose 100 rupees you will also lose 1000 rupees if you lose 1000 you will lose a million one day so it will never happen that 
you never lost. Uh, lose means you, you are irresponsible, basically. You know that I should keep this money somewhere properly. But then you don't. Okay. So what do you end up doing? Be casual. That's why they say if you are casual, you will become a casualty. So therefore, if you lose even a penny, unless somebody has stolen it or uh, you really don't know how you lost it, unless, or if you are casual and irresponsible with one rupee, you will lose a million rupees one day. Okay, Guaranteed. So therefore, we should see in our life what are the opportunities that we have at the current moment. We should capitalize on these small opportunities. Okay? Because only then we can capitalize on bigger opportunities. But then you will say, oh, uh, but how do you do that? You see, it's very difficult sometimes. Because... You have to understand why, why we behave irresponsibly when we get new opportunities. Which means why do we not capitalize on them? Why? It is because of Tamogun basically. Our life is filled with Tamoguna basically. Right? Why? Because our habits are filled with Tamogun. Mode of ignorance. Sattva Raja Tama. Three modes of material nature, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Tribir Gunamair Bhavair. And Krishna also says, you know, Daivihesha Gunamai Mama Maya Duratya, Mame Vami Prapadyante, Maya Mietam Tarantite. That, oh Arjuna, this material nature made of three modes, Daivihesha Gunamai Mama Maya Duratya, this material energy is. Very difficult to overcome. I am not saying this. Krishna is telling. <laughs> so when he says something is difficult, it's next to impossible. That means. Okay. Otherwise, he won't say that. And then he says, Mame vamne prapadyante mayam etam tarantite. But one who takes shelter of me, tarantite, which means he can transcend these three modes of material nature. So therefore, if you feel that you are not able to capitalize or take opportunities, because many times people complain that they do not get opportunities in life. But yet I have seen that even if they get sometimes, they lose it. It could be anything, anybody, even relationships. You are you're just casual. You have your spouse and you are like not paying attention to him or her and then one fine day your spouse leaves you okay so then you uh, claim that oh yes this person left me you know <laughs> then you'll play the victim card you know oh, this person you know ghosted me deserted me of course it can happen sometimes but whenever these things happen you should always ask yourself did i give my 100 percent okay now i'm not saying that it's justified if somebody leaves you. But what I'm telling is, sometimes, again and again and again, these things happen. Okay, Once or twice it has happened, that's different. But if you feel that there is a pattern in your life where everybody comes and leaves you, then maybe it's time to uh, introspect and check what's going on in our life. Of course, who will stay with us or who won't? Who will leave us or who will stay is not in our control. That is something which is beyond our control. That's a part of our karma. But what I'm telling you is we can we can at least make sure that we give our 100%. We give our best. Because if you do that, then you will be deeply satisfied inside. That yes, I give, give my 100%. And uh, even after that, this person didn't want to stay. So I'm not guilty anymore. You're, you won't have any burden. You won't have any regrets, no remorse in your heart. Otherwise, if, if, if you do not give your 100% in career or relationships or your health, then always there will be this sense of regret which will you know, keep eating you from inside. Okay? So therefore, we should... Try to increase uh, sattva guna in our life because uh, one of the uh, one of the symptom one of these is it symptom or okay you could say 
<laughs> or one of the results of the mode of goodness good uh, result or symptom either ways you know it's like going both ways is that you are always very active okay rajogun is different rajogun is hyperactive i want this i want that i want him i want her ye bhi chahiye wo bhi chahiye sab chahiye that's rajogun <laughs> people in rajogun you know they are like um, have you seen uh, people running in a treadmill like this you know so they're just running 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 but they're not going anywhere they're still at the same place <laughs> that's what rajogun is all right so if you and tamogun is laziness oh, i don't know what to do i'm confused i'm headless i'm miserable i'm lonely i can't do anything okay so therefore to the extent you have tamogun in your life to that extent you will be miserable and you will lose out on opportunities and to the extent you have satogun in your life to that extent you will be able to capitalize on the opportunities otherwise you're doomed oh my god doomed <laughs> yes because you will just sit like a buffalo and do nothing even buffaloes walk sometimes <laughs> but the example is given always with the buffalo because the buffalo delights in sitting in garbage all the dirty filthy disgusting muddy water compared to a cow who delights in sitting in beautiful grass okay. so be like a cow not like a buffalo don't be sitting in garbage all the time all right <clears throat> be like a swan not like a crow crow will always go and sit in the garbage but have you seen swans hunts they always <laughs> so therefore you should do activities in life which increase the sattva guna in, inside you okay so first thing is you should uh, sleep in the night sleeping time is the night time not the morning time uh, you should get up at 5 4 4:35 you should not sleep that time many times people tell me when i do consultation oh you should do these mantras in the morning and then they're like oh morning but that's my sleeping time sir how do you even think that i can chant these mantras in the morning because i got to sleep at 5 am right so the more you are with the sun the more you will have sattva guna in your life so if you can get up and chant some uh, mantras before you get uh, before the sun rises that's the brahma murad one and a half hours before sunrise approximately then you will be able to capitalize on each and every single opportunity that you get in life if you don't do this then uh, it's difficult and then you should read the scriptures like the bhagavad gita because imagine arjuna had krishna by his side and he inflicted the maximum amount of casualties yes bhima also <laughs> now you may say they were very powerful so they could exert and inflict casualties but then there were times when they were also bewildered they were confused they didn't know what to do so then krishna told them to krishna guided them so many times people think oh bhagavad gita was a book spoken by krishna a long time back you know to arjuna so what to do there is no krishna in kali yuga right krishna may not be there physically but he is there in the pages of the bhagavad gita so open the bhagavad gita and read every day 30 minutes take a resolution that i will do this okay when you do that then what happens is you will feel the way arjuna felt if you want to know how arjuna felt then read the bhagavad gita that's the only way otherwise you know you you will never know because you know the acharyas explain that oops there's a message ah so acharyas explain that when when you are really attached or i would say uh, attracted or mad about somebody you know not physically or sexually even at a mental level also then when you read their messages not text messages any message you will always feel as if uh, you are hearing their voice okay so 
the voice which Arjuna was hearing when Krishna was speaking, that same voice you can also hear. Yes, you can. It doesn't matter. You are sitting in London, New Jersey, Melbourne, Mumbai, Berlin. Just doesn't matter. You can be in Kurukshetra and you can listen to each and every damn verse <laughs> which Krishna had spoken. Provided you are sincere. That is the prerequisite. If there is sincerity, then you can hear in that same tone which Krishna said. If you have that sincerity provided. Otherwise, the Gita will just be like a text. You won't be able to learn anything from the Gita. When I say learn, I don't mean shlokas or cramming stuff. Okay. So therefore, reading the Bhagavad Gita is very important. So imagine that you are confused in life and then Krishna is himself telling you, do this. Can you just imagine? Of course, Krishna says in the Gita, na, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshi Arjuna Tishthati that I am situated in everybody's heart, in the Paramatma. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we cannot access, we cannot uh, interact with the Paramatma because we are very much conditioned. We are stooped in material objects. That is why we cannot talk to the Paramatma because to talk to the Paramatma, we require very high levels of purity where our mind is clear and uh, free from unnecessary materialistic desires. Not, not that you cannot have any material desire, but those things which are prohibited. Okay, Unless that happens, you, you cannot get uh, access to the Paramatma. That's not possible. So, therefore, be sincere. Go and join some spiritual community. Have the association of your God brothers, God sisters. Sit with them. Read together. Enlighten yourself. Krishna says in the Gita, Mat chitta mat gata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayantas chamam nityam tushchanti charamanti cha. <laughs> charamanti cha. That when my devotees sit together, they, uh, they don't gossip about who's... Uh, <laughs> who's uh, going to win the cricket match or who is win winning the election. These are not topics which devotees gossip mm -hmm. or which cricketer is getting married to which film star. These are not the things which people discuss. The great personalities, the Mahajans. Okay. Tushyanti Charamanti Cha What do they do? Matchitta Madgata Prana Matchitta means me. They discuss about me and my activities. Avatars of Vishnu mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam, the activities of Lord Vishnu. These are things you should discuss with the spiritual communities. Alright. Bodhayanta Parasparam. Kathayantascha Maam Nityam. Nitya means eternally they are doing this. Tushyanti Cha Ramanti Cha. Tushyanti. They are very peaceful. They are happy. They are content. Cha Ramanti Cha. Ramanti means they are overflowing with happiness. That's what is the meaning of the shloka. So, when you do this, or do it with your relatives, do it with your parents, do it with your husband, your wife, your mother, father, son, daughter, whoever, whoever you find. <laughs> All right. So then you will feel that, yes, now I'm getting guidance from Krishna directly. Okay. Now, directly doesn't mean you whimsically claim that, oh, you know. I'm getting guidance from Krishna. And after all, Krishna is telling me what to do. You know. He's the man. You know, I am getting direct guidance from Krishna. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> so when you go to a spiritual community, you will get association of Shiksha Gurus, your Diksha Guru, and so many of your God brothers, God sisters. So they will enlighten you. You enlighten them. They will enlighten you. Because this is principle. You know, each one teaches one while being taught by one. Should I repeat? Each one teaches one while being taught by one. So, when you learn something, you have been taught by somebody and then you teach somebody. Okay? So, then there is exchange of spiritual energy. Okay? And then take nice prasad. Whenever you cook something, vegetarian food, without onion and garlic, you can, you can offer that food, that bhoga to God and then you can accept that as prasad. Okay? And of course, 
chanting mantras in the morning as i said very important because shrimad bhagavatam says you know nama sankirtanam yasya sarva papa pranashanam pranamo dukha samanas tvam namami harim param that in kali yuga the chanting of the holy name is the most important thing and sukhdev goswami also says in the shrimad bhagavatam kale dosha nidhe rajan kali yuga is an ocean of faults asti hi ekal mahat guna there's but there's one great quality phenomenal quality kirtana deva krishnasya mukta sanga param rajit one who chants the name of god he is liberated from all sins mukta sanga param rajit ultimate liberation <laughs> all right so therefore instead of wasting your time gossiping about politics especially men i have seen gossiping about you know Uh, cricket politics football movies you know ladies going to these you know kitty parties huh? <laughs> or i have seen you know grown up men going to all this laughter clubs you know ha 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 laughing like this you know all all the fake laughter of the world it doesn't work like that you won't be happy why because smiling laughing is the result of happiness you cannot smile is not the cause of happiness it's the result of happiness you cannot smile and become happy this modern stupid idea is you know smile and be happy oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, do i feel happy no i don't let's be honest you cannot become happy by smiling when you are happy you smile automatically yes you don't have to artificially keep smiling oh yeah yeah i have to smile you know i have to find happiness no when you're happy it's just natural It's a natural laughter, smile is a natural expression of your happiness. It's not artificial. So, joining these laughter clubs is of no good use. In fact, they end up making you more miserable because then you keep because then you keep feeling that oh, I was I need to uh, you know I need to laugh. Why? Because I'm miserable. And then you laugh, and then you are not happy. Then you become more miserable. It's like a psych cycle. most depressed people are the ones who i know who are going to these laughing clubs and laughing ha 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 they're just laughing for no reason why are you laughing i i ask them sometimes ah what to do you know there's nothing in life retired people just, at, at least you can laugh and you know you you don't feel that life so terrible right so you don't have to stay in this terrible situation you are just one step away from a beautiful life okay so therefore make the necessary changes in your life only then you will be able to grab opportunities otherwise you will lose seconds minutes hours days years decades and maybe lifetimes all right so do not waste this valuable human life which god has given you for higher inquiry athato brahma jigyasa rishabh dev says in the Fifth canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam to the most esteemed of his sons, Bharat Maharaj. He says, "Tapu divyam putra kaiye na satvam." That human life is meant for tapasya. So do some austerities and then elevate your consciousness spiritually. Only then you can capitalize on material opportunities. Also, even material opportunities will require you some level of uh, tapasya. Okay, otherwise. you will just keep seeing videos in youtube maybe the way you are seeing now <laughs> all right so see videos but also implement them all right thank you very much for your patience and um, uh, this playlist is there along so many videos if you have not watched them please watch on the videos fire of inspirations playlist 2017 i had made this playlist and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him not only find him you will also hear him all right so read the bhagavad gita don't waste time thank you